Hello and welcome to another telehealth information video. My name is Garvin. Today's video is on isoniazid. Isoniazid is an antibiotic that's used to treat and prevent tuberculosis. Isoniazid works by targeting and killing bacteria that is responsible for causing tuberculosis. The exact mechanism of isoniazid is unknown, but it's taught to work by preventing tuberculosis causing bacteria from making certain substances needed to make their cell wall, causing the contents of the cell to leak out and therefore killing the bacteria. Isoniazid tablets are usually taken once a day, so your doctor will tell you how many tablets to take and try and take them at the same time every day, as this will help you remember to take them. The tablet should be swallowed with a drink of water, without food, on an empty stomach. This means at least 30 to 60 minutes before a meal, or at least two hours after a meal. This is to make sure the medicine is fully absorbed from the gut. Unless your doctor tells you otherwise, it is important that you finish the prescribed course of this antibiotic medicine, even if you feel better, or it seems the infection is cleared up. You will usually need to take it for six months to treat tuberculosis, or for three months to prevent tuberculosis. Stopping the course early increases the risk that the bacteria will grow resistant to the antibiotic, or that the infection will come back. Isoniazid may be used during pregnancy, and the nursing period. If you're pregnant or nursing while taking isoniazid, your doctor may want to regularly check up on you and your baby's well-being. If you do breastfeed during treatment with this medicine, your doctor may prescribe you with vitamin B6 supplements to take as well to reduce the risk of isoniazid side effects on the baby's nerves. Note that isoniazid makes hormonal contraceptives such as the pill and the implant and the morning after pill less effective at preventing pregnancy. So if you're using a hormonal contraceptive, it's advised to use an alternative form of contraception in combination with the hormonal contraceptive for taking or while taking isoniazid. For more information, talk to your doctor for more advice on this. Take caution from driving or operating heavy machinery while taking isoniazid may cause dizziness and drowsiness, so thus impairing your ability to carry out certain tasks. It's recommended to abstain from driving and operating machinery until you know how this medicine affects you. So the concomitant use of antibiotics and alcohol is advised against. And make sure to tell your doctor what other medicines you're taking, as they may have undesired interactions with isoniazid especially medicines such as some anti-diabetic medicines and anti-psychotic medicines. Some of the main side effects of isoniazid include dizziness, drowsiness, headache and nausea. So for a complete list of the side effects, go to my website, lynchespharmacy.com. And remember that all medicines have potential side effects, but this doesn't mean that you'll experience them. That brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below or contact me through lynchespharmacy.com. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.